in this question now we will go backwards we will try to find present value of a regular series of payment what amount of lump sum can you invest if you need rupees 5000 every year for 4 years and the rate is 9% now once again we will do this question for both beginning as well as end but before that, let's create a timeline. Well, in four years timeline, you already know that you will have five number of years. Because 2013 is when we start. And it's 2014 that is the second year in which our end of year one happens. So, in the year 2013, we can call it as year 0. In 2014, you end with your first year and your second year begins. So, that means 1 represents end of year 1, but 1 also represents end of beginning of year 2. And similarly, 2 would represent end of year 2, but it would also represent beginning of year 3. Similarly, 3 would represent beginning of year 4 and 4 would represent end of year 4. If the timeline would continue further, it could also represent beginning of year 5. Now, the part where we need the money at the beginning of each year. Now, if you need money at beginning of each year, in which years would you withdraw the money? Let's call it A. So if you need the money at beginning, right now I will need to start withdrawing and my first withdrawal will be coming right away 5000 rupees and I would withdraw the same amount at beginning of year 1, beginning of year 2, beginning of year 3 and beginning of year 4. There would be no cash flow at the end of year 4 because all my 4 withdrawals are already done. Now the question is. How much money should I invest today so that I can withdraw 5,000, 5,000, 5,000 and 5,000 if the rate of interest is given to be 9%? Well, so let's calculate the present value is equal to PV. The PV will be in the same year as the first year of withdrawal, which is in the year 2013, which is year 0 for us. Rate of interest is given as 9%. N per in this question is 4 years. PMT minus 5000. We don't have any future values. There is nothing left at the end. And we have a type which is 1. Why 1? Because we are withdrawing at beginning of each year. Type 1 means that the withdrawals or the cash flows are at beginning. So the answer comes to 17,656. Now for the next part wherein we are going to invest sorry withdraw 5000 at end of each year. So which means you withdraw the first 5000 at end of year 1 which is in 2014 and then subsequent 5000 and 2015, 16 and 17. Now before we calculate, the answer here, should it be lesser than 17,656 or should it be more than 17,656? Well if you think of it, by withdrawing one year later, you are giving money chance to grow for that one year. And hence, lesser amount of money should be able to do the job. Now let's calculate is equal to PV rate would be 9% the same rate N per would be 4 PMT would be minus 5000 no FV and type is going to be 0 just to remind you in case if you ever forget to put type 
the system by default will take type as 0. The result 16,198 which is lesser than what we got for beginning. So you end up investing lesser amount of money because you have more time before you withdraw the money in. Right. So unlike future value where you invest earlier, when you invest in the type one type beginning of the year, you end up getting a greater future value. And the reason for that is simple because you invest in beginning, you give time more time for the money to grow. The same reason applies here as well. Because you delay your withdrawals, you apply more time for your money to grow. Also, is there any relationship between these two numbers? 17,656 and 16,198. Well, as you must have guessed it, the difference between these two numbers would be 9%. So see, if you grow, if you increase 16,198 by 9%, not decrease 17,656 by 9%, but increase 16,198 by 9%, you would get the high above figure. So is equal to B35 into 109%, you get 17,656. So in short, if you withdraw earlier, you would need a higher present value. If you withdraw, if you have more time before you withdraw, you would need a lower present value. And yes, don't forget that your timeline always starts from zero till the end of four in this case, because each number represents end of that year. 